a big shot unless we talking about hip hop bad at tiktok but i'll make movies like hitchcock challenge mitch ha uh, you'll barely make it like trick shots check your wrist watch it's time for you all to quit stop trying me i'ma be honest i'm pretty glad no labels eyeing me i'm independent and i don't want nobody buying me yo what up everybody it is mitch Dorrell, and today we're doing another one of these types of videos i said i wanted to do more of these type of setup kind of the streaming setup is what i what I kind of call it. Um, obviously, I'm not going live with this one. That's the plan for the future. Um, but I at least want to make some content type videos where I'm smaller, the screen is bigger, what I'm looking at, and we're kind of looking at something together. And I'm kind of giving my thoughts. So those of y'all who clicked on this, most of y'all probably already know what this is talking about. But those of you who don't I'll give a little bit of information before we click on this video, Harrison Butker is the kicker for the Chiefs. He is a really good kicker. He was actually drafted by my team, the Carolina Panthers. And I don't think he ever played for us. I think we might have cut him before the season or whatever. But he's been on the Chiefs for their crazy historic dynasty of a run. Um, and he recently gave a commencement speech uh, for a college graduation. And he is under fire for it. So let's find out why. I already know why, but let's let's see what this video has to say. Outside 50 for yeah. Butker. But this morning, Harrison Butker is making headlines for his remarks off the field during a commencement address at Benedictine College, a Benedictine conservative College. Catholic liberal arts school in Kansas. It is safe to say that over the past few years, I've gained quite the reputation for speaking my mind. Butker sounding off about working women. I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. How many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you're going to get in your career. Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. Butker then referring to Pride Month, which celebrates the LGBTQ community as a deadly sin. Not the deadly sin sort of pride that has an entire month dedicated to it, but the true God-centered pride that is cooperating with the Holy Ghost to glorify him i couldn't believe it was such an outdated so here's what i'm gonna say so and i think they might have said so i don't know a whole ton about benedictine college i think they say it was a catholic school um uh, let me look that up real quick i think they might have said it was a catholic school let's see catholic uh yep catholic liberal arts college so one I, I would venture to guess, to use his words, that the, the school that asked him to come knew what his views were on certain things. They it was I don't think it was too much of a shock, you know. I don't think he blindsided the school itself, you know. Um, but since, you know, everything's on the internet, everything kind of goes viral. Um, people who obviously weren't there saw the video, right? So here's what I'm saying. I don't think and i'm specifically going to talk about because i'm not going to get into lgbtq stuff but i am going to get into the um the main thing that's been talked about the reason he's under fire is the women portion of it right so he before this i had seen part of the speech earlier than the clip i just showed you where he talks about his wife and how if not for his wife he wouldn't be able to live the dream that he lives he's an nfl kicker he wouldn't he would he you know he essentially uses the, the word homemaker for his wife and that she has filled that role and that he, he started crying saying that you know um his wife is very special to him very important to him and without her he wouldn't be able to do what he does um so the only issue here's the issue that i personally have there's nothing wrong with um a woman wanting to be a stay-at-home mom being wanting to be a homemaker if you want to use that word i don't know if that's the word that's typically used but um taking care of the home right there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever there's also nothing wrong with a woman wanting to have her own career wanting to work wanting to uh help uh provide you know wanting to have a have a dream of her own right and so the the only thing and this is what stinks about society and and uh the internet and taking things out of context the only thing that got him under fire i believe specifically on that por portion is the fact that he said i would venture to guess that most of you are look more looking forward to your uh being a wife and uh the kids that you will bring that's a bold assumption you know because not everybody is going to go that path or wants to go that path so if he had just said and he probably still would have been under fire let me be clear if he had said what i'm about to say but if he had said um for those of you essentially those of you who may 
want to, you know, have kids and, and be a wife and, you know, go that path, you know, um, saying that it's an option for them as opposed to saying, almost making it sound like it's a bad thing to get the promotions and to, and to want to work, you know, and that most of y'all probably don't want any of that. Y'all are, y'all want to have kids and be what, you know, like that's, you're not, you're leaving, you're not giving them the choice, you know, that's the only thing that I personally had wrong with it. But ultimately, like I said, a lot of it was taken out of context and be, and there are a lot of people who disagree with even the notion of like a woman, um, you know, being home and taking care of the, the home and the house and everything. Ultimately, you should be free to do what you want to do. So that's the thing, right? Um, there's no, there's nothing in the word that says a woman cannot work or should not work. Um, and there's nothing that's against women being at home and taking care of the house. You know what I'm saying? It's every marriage is going to be different in that regard, but the way he worded it almost made it seem like unfairly or not, just, this is what happened. Almost made it seem like he was saying this route, the going and working and being in the workforce and having a dream and all that is bad being at home, having kids, that's that's the right way to go. Most, I'm sure most of y'all want to do that. And I could see how that could maybe upset some people, especially at a cut. And that was the other thing. The last thing was, it's where he said it. <laughs> he said it at a college graduation. Like, odds are, if you are the most concentrated uh, area of women who want to work are probably in the room with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not saying that at church or you're not saying that to a random group of women like these women are literally graduating with degrees <laughs> at this moment you know what i'm saying so there's a good chance that a, a lot of them are probably like i want to use my degree <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i think that may have been what caused and you know it's not lost on me the internet is, and the world is a very anti-christian and christian values and beliefs and stuff so he was going to get uh, he was going to be under fire no matter what he said, if it was in line with any of that. So I don't want to act like it's his fault that, you know, that people were coming after him because it would have happened anyway. But I do think less, I mean, even, I've spoken to Christians, like Christian men that I know who are like, he didn't think this through the right way because like, again, Christians that I know at least don't fall under the category of believing that like women have to stay at home and have to take care of kids and cannot work and should not work and aren't supposed to work. And so anything that sounds like that, we're going to be like, hmm, you didn't really have to, you know, you didn't have to word it that way. And I don't, I don't know his intentions. I obviously don't know him. Um, I feel bad that he's kind of being attacked. And again, I know a lot of that is just because he was saying anything Christian or anything traditional, we'll say. Um, so what happened anyway, but I do think he may be didn't do himself any favors with the way he kind of made it seem like there's a right and a wrong camp to be in and like you know <laughs> you should do what my wife did you know type of thing so um but let me know your thoughts in the comments it, this was really fascinating to me just because i was like oh i know Har harrison butker is he's a good kicker he's a real good kicker i'd be kicking myself because the panthers got rid of him and then i see his name is trending and i'm like what did what did the kicker for the Chiefs do? And then, no offense to him at all, but, like, I wonder how he got picked to give this speech. Like, I don't know. Like, are, are, were people breaking down his door to get him to give speeches? for? I don't know. Apparently. So, but, yeah. Uh, hopefully, you know, he doesn't remain under attack. He probably will, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, ultimately, I do feel bad because Christian values are going to be attacked anyway. But... We do have to be careful with how we word things. Our preference isn't necessarily biblical, we'll say. So to make it even seem like, hey, this good, this bad, even though it's just your preference, it happened to work out that way for you and your wife. But like someone had found an article, I think, saying that his mother was a, she worked in oncology as a physicist or something, you know, and she helped to make the big income that his family had growing up. And I don't think he would think there's anything wrong with that, you know, um, just the wording can be important, you know, but we also should have grace for people. People miss word stuff. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I have to have a sit down with them someday and be like, Hey, what exactly did you mean by this? Did you mean it this way? Do you feel this way? Then that's, that's the problem with the internet again, is it kind of doesn't leave room for that. <laughs> so I don't think he had any ill intentions, but I do think his wording didn't help him out. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Go Chiefs, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> They're saying the Taylor Swift fans are going to go after the kid. 
Nah, maybe. Let's hope not. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to talk about anything else or if you hate these videos. Either way, let me know. Like and subscribe if you haven't. Praise God. Peace.